I recommend to put in every single hamster cage is some form of a hideout or a hideaway for hamsters. So these are absolutely important to have in the hamster cage because they are a secure place for the hamsters to have when they are feeling stressed or just nervous or fearful in general. Um, these are great for the hamsters to hide away in and they're just a really great place for your hamster to feel secure in. So some that I recommend, and I've said this many times, and I thoroughly recommend them, are the small igloo hideaways. So I have a big purple one and a small um, yellow one, and these are lovely. I absolutely love these, and I totally recommend them because they're made of plastic. They're very easy to wash, and all my hamsters love hiding in them. But if you can't find those, other um, hideaways could be great, like grass teepees, or really just anything that you can make for a hideout. You don't even have to buy these, you can also make them um, out of like cardboard boxes or just anything. Um, and there are some tutorials on YouTube for that, and I will try and remember to link some down below if you want to check those out. But yeah, so hideouts are very, very important for hamsters, and you also have to make sure that you have the correct size. So Syrians obviously have larger hideouts, and dwarfs obviously have smaller. So the next thing you need in your hamster's cage is obviously wheels. So wheels are really important. You can get many different kinds and many different sizes for that matter. Um, Syrian hamsters, they get the largest and biggest hamster species, um, need a bigger wheel, they need an eight inch wheel and above. And dwarf hamsters and Chinese hamsters and stuff like that, they need a smaller wheel um, and they can be like anything under 12 or really eight or under eight. Um, but yeah, so wheels are really, really important as they help hamsters run, of course, and hamsters run very fast and always need to go to exercise on. So my wheels that I have here are the comfort wheel, and this is an eight and a half inch for my Syrian buddy. And I also have a small silent spinner. Um, I believe it's 6.5 inches for my dwarf hamster striper. So those are the wheels I have, but you can also find many different other kinds of wheels, like Carolina Storm Express wheels, and of course, silent spinners everything like that, uh, water wheels, and many different other kinds, but just make sure you have the correct size and right wheel for your hamster to run on. The next thing that hamsters need are toys. So hamsters really do need toys. Um, I just have some plastic tubes and things like that, but hamsters need toys obviously to interact with and play with, um, and you can get any type of hamster toy you want to. I just have tubes and stuff like that, but my hamsters really like those to play with and just have fun with, to interact and entertain themselves. So toys I definitely think to have in your hamster's cage. So the next thing that hamsters need are tubes. Now this goes to say a lot on what the hamsters really do need in their cage. So they definitely need chews in their cage because hamsters chew a ton and if you don't give them and provide them with lots of chews in their cage then their teeth will overgrow which is really really dangerous and hamsters that will cause lots of pain and that could definitely cost you a trip to the vets. So to avoid that from happening, hamster chews are there to help you and your hamster, of course. Um, so some chew examples could be little block letters. I have this one that says like an E, has a little E on it. I'm just anything that's made of wooden and just chews in general. And my favorite thing for hamsters to have to chew, and they seem to really enjoy too, are bendy bridges. Um, these are my favorite hamster chew toys as the hamsters love them. Bendy bridges are so durable um, for basically anything. You can make them into creations and all that and hamsters can still chew on them, like my hamsters have on the like little ridges of the Bendy Bridge, but my hamsters really do love those. But you can make also make um, chew toys for your hamsters. I have like toilet paper rolls, which are good as well. So those are chews, and they really do need them for their cages. Obvious, but your hamster does need a food dish. Now you can get plastic or glass. I have a glass hamster food dish because I think that holds up really well. Um, obviously you need a food dish, and of course you're going to need some hamster food in that food dish. So I have many diet videos where I show you guys um, their food, so it's just a quick like, little preview of their food here. But definitely hamsters need food, of course they need food. And so yeah, a food dish and food are a necessity in the hamster's cage. Hamster always needs in their cage is definitely going to be bedding. There are many different brands of bedding, um, like Carefresh and KT. I usually have a mix of KT Clean and Cozy and Carefresh, and that's what's in this. Then you can get many different types of bedding, different colors, 
um, different like styles and stuff like that. However, there are a few unsafe ones that I will list on the screen. Do not buy the ones that I list on the screen as they are very unhealthy and can cause many different like health risks for your hamster. But bedding is always very, very important to have in a hamster cage, of course, and it's the main thing that you need. Obviously, you need a water bottle as well. Um, this is a water bottle that I have, and it's in a little water bottle guard. You're going to want a water bottle guard if you have a tank cage for your hamster, or you can always use Velcro. But yes, I just have this water bottle. It's really important to fill up your water bottle each day for your hamster to have fresh, cool water. And yeah, this is a really big necessity, of course, for a hamster's cage is to have a water bottle. Hey guys, so I really hope that you all enjoyed today's video. Um, if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. It is free and you get notified whenever I upload a new video, so it's really fun. So yeah, so subscribe, give it a big thumbs up if you liked it, and comment down below. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone!